Hello dreamers, how are you doing? In this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about PR card of Canada. I'll tell you the detailed information about it, how you can get it, the most common case of change of address, the processing times and also I'll tell you the workaround if you don't have a Canadian address. All of this in this video. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos almost every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so what is a PR card? Of course, it means the permanent resident card. It is the identification and a travel document for permanent residents of Canada. It's the most important document. One of the methods by which Canadian permanent residents can approve their status and also it is one of the only documents that allow permanent residents to return to Canada by a commercial carrier. Let's suppose you are a permanent resident of Canada for quite a while, you've got a PR card. If you go out of the country, you have to carry that permanent resident card. Only then you'll be able to enter Canada. So this means that PR card holds equal importance like your passport. So it is such an important document and it has got personal details like a date of birth, your nationality and it has got an expiration date as well. It is generally five years from the date you get it. So something around five years. So when it is about to expire, you can apply for the PR card again. Okay, so how to get it? For the people who have just received the permanent residency, so first of all, you would receive your COPR. As soon as you receive a COPR, you'll go to the uh, VFS office and get it, get your passport stamped. So you decide a date when you land in Canada. Finally, you land in Canada. After that, you go to the immigration officer. Now, over there, the immigration officer will ask you a number of questions, mostly general questions, but there would be a question for sure over there. He'll ask about your Canadian address. Now, this question is so important because whichever address you will give, your PR card would be delivered at that address only. Not only because you can actually change that address later on. How can you change it? I'll tell you. So most of the people who would be, you know, landing there would certainly have one address. You might be going straight away to a friend's place. You might be going to a hotel or a temporary accommodation or somewhere you must be going, right? So you should give that address over there. Even if you don't give an address, that is totally fine. You can say that, you know, we have, uh, we are very new over here and we don't have an address. So in that case, they'll give you a form that you have to actually send them through fax. Okay, now the processing times. It is actually delivered through Canada Post and generally the processing time is 1.5 months, which is 45 days. And this is the time that IRCC has actually, you know, declared. But for a minimum, it might take, you know, one month and for a maximum, it might take around three months for you to get the PR card delivered the address. IRCC sometimes ask for the photographs once again so if in case you get a communication over your mail so you should keep checking your mail you should be quite cautious on that point if you get a communication that you need to update your photograph once again in that case you should get one more photograph clicked in the exact specifications and send it back to them of course there'll be delay of around 15 20 days in that case but no need to worry there'll just be a delay it is something which happens with many people, so no need to worry about that. Okay, now the change of address, how to get it updated. So it is actually very common that, you know, somebody landing over there would have a temporary address and you would want your PR card to be delivered in a different address. So it's very common. So there are two ways of doing it. The first way is IRCC web form. I'll provide the link down there. I'll also show you how you can go and update it. The second way of doing it is calling the IRCC call center. They're available from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, here, if you call, you would find they're extremely busy. They're extremely busy. If you actually call them, you may find that you're there in the queue for maybe an hour or so. But generally, 
if you call them you know sharp at 8 a.m or somewhere around 3 30 p.m there would be a queue of around 20 minutes 15 minutes something like that so please be ready please be very patient that if you call them for the change of address please be patient there would certainly be a long queue so please be patient about that and be a bit cautious okay now let's assume that you know you're moving to a new address of course if you have landed in canada you would have a temporary residence you might be going in a hotel you might be going to a friend's place or a hostel anywhere now after that let's say you found an a temporary accommodation but let's say you don't even like it you decided to move on to the another accommodation maybe when you find a job you, find, you try to move to a location which is closer to your office so in that way which address should you give so of course you should make sure that you update your address as soon as you actually move how you can update it i've just told you what's important also is that you know if you don't want to you know keep changing the address uh, and uh, getting uh, updated what you can do is give your friend's address or anybody who you know there in canada you can give their address if you know that you know they are gonna stay there for next three months please give their address and it i don't think it's a big favor to ask the PR card would be delivered to their address and as soon as it is delivered you can take it from them so it is quite simple if in case you feel like there's nobody no trustworthy guy in Canada uh, there might be some people like that so in that case there's another option available so there's a company named as UPS and they offer something like UPS mailbox rental so what is it you'd actually get a mailbox for a rental period let's say one month or three months you can actually get it for a rental period and you can actually update that address now the good thing is that they would actually give you a rental address which is a which is something like a physical address and rscc does not deliver the pr card to a po box address so please be very cautious about it if you want to give a mailbox address do not give a po box address give the uh, ups mailbox rental address how you can check it i'll just show you right now okay so this is the web form that i was talking about this is the official website of government of canada and uh, what you have to do is click over this button over here tell us more so of course he by doing this because it's written over there that you have to, if you have to update your application then in that case you should you know fill up this web form so have you submitted an application for permanent residence so click yes is your application being processed by an outside by an office outside canada so because now your pr card is being processed inside canada so you should choose no over here and go to web form so it will open a web form over here it's clearly written over here that you may use this form if you have submitted an application or profile if your application has exceeded normal processing times if you wish to report important changes such as change in contact information so this is your point over here because you are submitting a form over here because your uh, address has changed and you want the, your pr card to be delivered in the new address so over here you have to choose type of application just choose over here permanent resident card type of application a permanent resident card initial card and over here you can obviously you know mention uh, your new address if it's, it's clearly written over here that if you're submitting an address change include your new address street name street number city province postal code and country if you are submitting and change an email address include and specify old email address and new email address so through this form you can actually go ahead and uh, submit your new address just this is an application form an online application form for changing your address where you can get your pr card okay so this was one thing the other thing is about the uh, call center so this is the number over here i'll provide this link in the description box as well so this is the number it's written over here that they're available from monday to friday 8 a.m to 4 p.m but most of the times you'll find a long long queue over there so please be patient okay the third thing the ups store so this is the, web, the website the ups store.com slash mailboxes so what do they have to offer let's just check it out so they offer you know a mailbox on rent for some time so they have got you know different packages and they're they're different locations so you have to find a 
you know, local store which is close to your home so that you can, you know, have easy access to it. Just go to this uh, link over here and it will give you, you know, more detailed information about their services. Uh, so basically, UPS has, you know, different stores. Uh, it would have, you know, a store near your home, hopefully. So what do they have to offer is a street address, not a PO box number. So as I told you that if, uh, you know, you give a PO box number, then that won't be accepted uh, by RCC because they don't deliver the PR cards to PO box number. So you would be given a street address for this mailbox, which is what you want. So it uh, would have a 24 hour access and you would be given a text or email notification as well through which you can actually get to know if you have when you receive the card or any other document then definitely uh, you can go and check it out so this was what you know I wanted to tell you hopefully uh, this information would also help you so thank you for watching this video guys I really hope that uh, the information shared in this video was helpful for you so if you have liked the video please click the like button if you feel it would be helpful for some of your friends as well please share it with them and also please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet